Knife Watch here. How you guys doing? First things first, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all the support I've been getting in the past few days. You guys are awesome. And I wanted to do a quick, you know, first impressions. I guess you can't do a review on a knife you've only had for a week. Um, in my opinion, you can, you can, if you're a reviewer, I guess you have to because you got so much gear. But today I wanted to give you an overview, right? And five things you may not know about the Benchmade Mini Freak S90V. This is the first production run. So this is, a, I think, a great production run they did. Uh, so they, they nailed it the first time, in my opinion. But um, anyway, let's just get into it. First things first, um, I've handled many Benchmades. I think this is the perfect Benchmade. This is the best Benchmade knife I've experienced. And in my opinion, it's the most Benchmade Benchmade that Benchmade has ever bench made. Um, okay, it is their best knife, in my opinion. Hear me out. So it operates, you know, in action the same way that it does, uh, the, the, the 940 does. If you guys are familiar with Benchmade, you know about the 940. It's a green one. I actually had one for a while. I sold it to an uh, Instagram friend of mine, The Finest Tradition. And he gave it as a gift to his son, and it's much better suited for somebody else. I really enjoyed it. It was hard for me to sell, but I was giving it to a great, great lad. So I was happy to do it. Anyway, um, this is to me the best thing that I've experienced out of Benchmade, and that's for a few different reasons. Um, first things first, um, it's not odd, okay? It's not weird. Okay, you know, I've, I've handled the Benchmade Mini Loco. The 940 is a little skinny. It's got a reverse Tonto. Some people think that's weird. The bug out is flimsy. You know, whether you like to admit it or not, it's flimsy. It's beautiful. It's light. Cool. It's got a nice blade, but it's flimsy. This is not. Um, you know, you got, what else is popular from Benchmade? You have the, uh, um, I mean, there's just so, so many of the Presidio. They've got so many models that are just unbelievable. And no, anybody would be happy to have them. Um, but they are a little funky sometimes, you know, and it's ironic that to me their most beautiful streamlined knife is actually called a freak and it's not just a freak It's the mini freak, right? So let's bring out um, the first thing to me um, You, you got to talk about the regular freak, right? Um, so first thing you, you need to know is that it's the perfect bench made. This thing is a monster. Okay, it's massive It's huge. It's beautiful. I love it. I prefer larger knives, but there's a reason why I prefer the mini um, to this one, and uh, we'll talk about it in, we'll talk about that as well. Um, but to me, it's miraculous perfection in terms of the sweet spot on the action. To me, the best action of any of the Benchmades is the 940. The way they balanced the 940 out was perfect, but I think this is the second best they've ever done. The thing about the um, the Benchmade bug out, which is fantastic, I do have the mini bug out somewhere lying around here. Uh, but I wanted to focus on this, you know, um, I don't like doing too many size comparisons and things of that nature because it's about this one. Um, it, this seems to have, like, they actually got that flow right. It's drop shutty, okay? You can't drop shut a, a bug out because it's, it's almost too light. Um, and even on this one, right, the larger one, it doesn't drop shut. I don't know if I need to tighten mine up a little bit. Maybe yours does, but... Um, this one out of the box just operated perfectly and flawlessly. So um, this Mini Freak is the closest thing they've gotten to perfect in terms of action and beauty. And I think it's the most, this is the, the amalgamation of all their best gear. Anyway, number two, it's an affordable Benchmade. <laughs> okay, now this thing I got for about 280, 270, 280. And if you've ever bought a Benchmade, um, you know they're all overpriced compared to what people say, right? They're, they're, they charge too much money. If they charge too much money, why do these things sell out? Um, first things on price, guys, you don't know about pricing unless you've worked in this industry or for one of these companies in the accounting or finance department. Pricing is extremely complicated and the business relies on the pricing being accurate. So what people are willing to pay for it is an accurate and fair price. The reason this is an affordable Benchmade is this is S90V, okay? S90V for a blade that is less than $300 when you can find other blades that actually, for example, the Chris Reeve and Kosi, which is unbelievably beautiful and 
you know, perfect knife to a lot of people. This is only S35 VN. S35 VN is fantastic. I mean, it's victorious. If you have an S35 VN knife, you're doing well in life. But this is $450 at least, right, for a new one. And that is $150 more than this knife, which is S90V. I'd love to hear somebody argue that S90V is inferior to S90V. Um, so the other thing, this is carbon fiber, okay? And not just carbon fiber, but beautiful carbon fiber. Um, it's, it's secretly affordable gold class bench made to me. These materials are incredible. Uh, the way this feels in hand is unbelievable. And so S90V is the face of production knife quality. The action is fantastic. Um, it is the most flick, you know, fidget friendly knife that's out there. Mirror polished finish on it, been ground to perfection. I have been using this pr as my primary blade for about a week. I took this to the DMV. <laughs> I took it everywhere. Um, and it, it, it was just sitting in my pocket making me feel joyful that I had something reliable on me. Uh, so number three reason, or excuse me, number three thing that you didn't know about the Benchmade Mini Freak S90V is, my God, it is centered. Out of the box, it was centered. I have not, uh, you know, done anything to tune this up. It is smack dab in the middle centered. There is no argument you can make that it is not. Benchmade centered. A lot of people think those things don't go together. We're seeing it in the flesh here. Number four thing you probably didn't know about the Benchmade Mini Freak and S90V is you'll probably have the wrong pocket clip on it. The best, the best thing about this blade that I've heard people say is that it's perfect, but the pocket clip has a hot spot on it. The pocket clip it came with was this one. I actually switched them out, okay? Now, this one is fine. Some people don't like this pocket clip. It's not deep carry, and there's some other things that I don't want to get into that they don't like about it. But functionally, there's never been anything wrong with this pocket clip, okay? It's just like the Spyderco pocket clip. They're equally matched in being perfect in terms of they work. They just work. They're not deep quick carry, but the stock pocket clips from Benchmade and Spyderco are terrific. But some people don't like the shape of this one. We'll leave it at that. So... I bought an MXG gear pocket clip. And although it looks pretty big, I'd say, on this knife or this handle, it is amazing. I mean, this does not have any hot spots in it. And the reason for that is, is that this actually has some flex to it. Can you guys see this? Okay, I got a little bit of flex in this pocket clip, just a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. This is 100% titanium here. MXG, MXG gear is famous for their pocket clips that are titanium and robust and just work. This adds a bit of fat to an already pretty thick blade, but because this is a smaller knife, you can actually get a really, you know, let me take these gloves off, right? You're probably looking at me like, why are you being such a pansy knife watch? Um, I don't want to get all sweat and dirt all over it just because I'm reviewing it, but fine. For you guys, I'll do anything, right? I've got a four finger grip on this, so we're a size large glove, okay? Four finger grip, and it is just so comfortable. And what this pocket clip does is add a great grip. It's ergonomic. It just disappears into the fat of my palm here. And it is just phenomenal in hand. I could cut with this all day. Again, my primary for a week. And it's been fabulous, okay? You can spidey flick this. Once you get into that grip, I forget it's there. This is the pocket clip for this knife. MXG gear, don't put anything else on there, okay? If you switch it, you know, at all, if you're not gonna go with the stock that it comes with, then just go MXG gear. I heard some people like Slicey Dicey put the bug out clip on there. This is not a bug out, okay? It's not, it's lightweight because it's got carbon fiber, but this is not a flimsy bug out, guys. I'm sorry, it's not. Um, if you don't think this is the right pocket clip for it, and you think this is too large for the knife, I mean, What's wrong with a deeper carry? I mean, it conceals so well. Um, this has a gummy, grippy feeling that's so confident, inspiring, and, and ergonomic. It agrees with the shape of the knife beautifully. And to me, the black looks great on it. So if you haven't tried it, um, you don't have to trust me. You know, Give it a shot and, and tell me if I'm wrong. I, you won't. 
Number five thing you didn't know about the Benchmade Mini Freak S90V is um, it's the best looking best Benchmade knife. So it's not only the best knife by Benchmade, from my opinion, right? It's the perfect Benchmade to me. I think it's the best looking, okay? Um, so again, you know, compare it to the regular Freak, okay? Let's take a look at these in comparison. Um, this is just, look at that, the red thumb studs with the backspacer, you know, just open construction, backspacer missing, right? You just got this beautiful red spacers. There's like a, these have like a wine red to them on the regular Freak. Um, they look exactly the same, but I think they're just a little bit different. And maybe that's, uh, you know, maybe it has to do with the inside liners of this regular Freak, that the wine red of that, maybe it's darkening it to me. But to me, I think this is the perfect shade of red. It's not too bright. It's not like a pansy color. And it's not so dark that it doesn't agree with, with most, most things. It's just beautiful. The billboarding is not there. A lot of people are mad that Benchmade is no longer doing the numbering system for their first production run knives, right? You want to be able to say, I got one, two, three, four. I got the second, you know, Benchmade Mini Freak ever made. And that would be a great thing to compare and help you sell your knife. But in reality, Benchmade is looking at what Spyderco is doing with their sprint runs, and they're jealous. When you have a numbering system, the bad part about that is when I get number 400 out of 2,800, I don't feel special, right? It's just a random number. And I had a first production run, and um, I think I had a really low number for the Benchmade Mini loco and i really loved that but um it didn't make me like the knife more this the fact that i have first production here just like whenever you buy a spyderco sprint run and you don't know what other number you have just the fact that you know that it is a special run at all like a sprint run or a flash batch you feel special so the fact that it says first production doesn't bother me and i think more people will get accustomed to it Benchmade knows that the reason people chase Spyderco sprint runs is anybody who has one feels special. So if you have this, you will feel special. So anyway, first first things first, um, just want to say thank you to Blade HQ for supplying this. I really appreciate it. Um, but, you know, I got to say, this is the, the best Benchmade experience I've had. I think Benchmade is back. There's no fit and finish issues with this. I've been looking for problems with this thing. It's phenomenal. This, many people said, was the knife of the year for them um, last year. And this, to me, they even, they, they just outdid themselves. So the mini, you know, shout out, crap to you, Benchmade. Knife Watch is happy. Knife Watch is out.